if you own an online business, you probably already have a few ways to track your visitors' activities on your website. But that means you also need an efficient way to manage consent and tracking. I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site and Consent Magic. And since I started Pixel Your Site, I've been involved with so all sorts of businesses implementing tracking on their websites. And when I help them to do so using our Pixel Your Site plugin, I saw how difficult it was to manage consent the right way. I've seen so many mistakes, small businesses do, and uh, how hard it was for them to really implement uh, a working consent solution. Watch this video until the end and uh, you will learn a few things about consent, what you need to do, how you can do it, and uh, what's required for a proper consent solution. And, uh, that works well with tracking users' activity on a website. So, again, if you have a website and if you track users' activity on your website, you need an efficient solution to manage consent. Uh, tracking is done for various purposes, analytics, and you have tools like Google Analytics, which is the most famous, but there are others as well. Uh, marketing, and you have plenty of tools like the Facebook Pixel, Google Ads tag, Pinterest tag, uh, LinkedIn, but also things that you might not think and uh, in relation with tracking, like embedded videos. If you embed a YouTube video on your website, they will automatically uh, track your visitors' uh, data and send it to YouTube. So this um, as well involves some kind of tracking. Uh, usually tracking is done by scripts uh, or using cookies or nowadays with server-to-server -server integration. And this is a, a, an interesting topic because server-to-server -server will uh, replace uh, cookies pretty soon since cookies start to become obsolete uh, uh, and uh, will not work uh, as before with various browsers. So server-to-server -server is something rather important when it comes to tracking. Uh, in most cases, tracking involves your visitors' personal data. Sometimes um, as little as their IP addresses, but sometimes a lot more, like their names, uh, phone, numbers, emails, and even physical address like uh, zip code or country and state. Uh, yeah, some uh, tracking tools uh, gather all this kind of data and use it. For example, Facebook advanced matching uh, does something like this. Uh, managing consent uh, can be a simple thing like just informing uh, your users that you track them and tell them how you use their data but sometimes you need to do more offer opt-out options that really work and if the user says no don't track me you actually stop tracking them and the most challenging setup involves you asking consent before tracking them so this is uh, another thing you should consider uh, sometimes you must ask user consent before tracking them. Uh, consent is uh, usually governed by laws and we have GDPR for the EU countries, we have CCPA for California users and other countries as well have their own um, privacy related uh, rules and laws. Uh, but we also have uh, terms of use that each tool you might use to track your user has. Um, sometimes they uh, are pretty careful with uh, privacy and uh, consent. Sometimes they don't really care, but they have uh, terms already. It's just a way to cover their uh, asses. Sorry for this. Uh, but this is also uh, a thing to consider. It's not only the 
uh, national uh, law that uh, uh, set up limitations, but also the tools, terms of service or terms of use regarding privacy. Well, uh, it's a fact most small businesses struggle with consent. Some don't even know they must do something. Uh, some have an idea they must do something but don't know what exactly. And there are those that know that have to do something, knows what to do but don't have the right technical solution because it can be difficult to implement a, a proper consent solution that does what it's supposed to do. And the ideal consent solution should respect your uh, visitors' rights, control tracking when required, turn it on and off, block or allow, and of course, and this is very important, be persuasive, convincing your users to say yes, to agree to tracking. This is something to remember. Your website's visitors have rights according to their location. It is not always important when, where your business is based. You need to implement different type of consent based on visitor's location. So, it's sort of uh, your visitor bring their rights with them. If someone from a GDPR country visits a, a website owned by a business from United States, they still have their GDPR rights and you should offer them uh, a consent solution that respect GDPR rights. Managing consent usually involves informing your users about your tracking technologies, informing your users about how you use their private data and uh, sometimes you need to give them the option to opt out of tracking and sometimes, as I mentioned before, you need to ask their permission before tracking them. If you put all this together, you end up having three types of consent. Just inform, inform and opt out and ask before tracking. Just inform is uh, the most basic consent type. You need to tell your visitors about your tracking technologies, how you use the data, add a link to your privacy page and uh, tracking is not blocked and you don't have to offer them a way to block tracking. So there is no opt-out uh, needed in this case. Inform and opt-out. Again, you need to tell your visitors about your tracking technologies and how you use their data. Have a link to your privacy data or privacy page but tracking is not blocked. Instead, you do offer them a way to opt out. They can say, no, don't use my data. This is uh, how CCPA uh, rule work. Um, visitors from California have this right to say, don't use my personal information. And you, in this case, you should stop uh, tracking their private data. Uh, ask before tracking is the more complicated uh, way to implement consent on a website you again need to tell your visitors about your tracking technologies and how you use their private data but tracking is blocked by default and you must ask visitors permission before tracking them this is how gdpr works people coming from gdpr countries must express their consent before you can uh, track their private data So you need to use uh, the right consent type based on visitor's location and you need to customize the consent message according to each consent type. And these are a few tips for uh, each consent type. Just inform, you should have a small, non-intrusive message, easy to close. Uh, maybe you can hide it when uh, your visitors scroll the page. Uh, it should not be complicated. Inform and opt out, again, a non-intrusive message but visible enough because because they have the right to say no so this must be pretty clear uh, but it should be easy to close uh, if they close the message they do nothing you can still track them so uh, for your business it's fine
as before tracking this is complicated and uh, the message should be big visible uh, you cannot let your visitor just to ignore or close the message they must do something they must say yes or no but they must do something if they ignore the message you can't track them you simply can do nothing uh, so you need their interaction if they say yes it's fine you can track them good if they say no that's life you must follow um, their uh, consent and uh, stop uh, don't start tracking them actually you know don't stop you don't start tracking them uh, now this is important is the message about cookies good enough no absolutely not uh, because chances are you already use other technologies to implement tracking and I will give you just two examples uh, Facebook advanced matching with Facebook and fast matching you send data that you know about your users they give you this data with your pixel events and um, with your browser events so it's done browser to server and uh, Facebook uses this data to match uh, website visitors to a Facebook account but in this case cookies are not exactly involved because you collect the data and you send it to Facebook so it's something a bit different and Facebook conversion API is server to server integration you collect data from your users and you send it to Facebook no cookies are involved here so the cookie message is definitely not enough in this case uh, and in fact um, tracking users behavior will move away from cookies and will be replaced by other technologies like server to server and direct platform integration your constant message should reflect this new reality now the most common errors people do when uh, they implement some form of consent of course they track all the visitors with the same consent type uh, this is pretty common they set up a constant message and they show it regardless of user location or anything else they block tracking when uh, they don't need to this is pretty common as well you have a very good uh, message for for gdpr countries and you block tracking before consent and you show the same message to people coming from a different country like uh, brazil or i don't know or the other way around you don't block tracking when you should uh, that's usually a business from uh, a place like united states uh, that has traffic from European countries and they don't know about GDPR they they don't have a proper uh, consent type for people coming from GDPR countries so this is again a problem another uh, very common issue and I see this quite often is using a too small message when tracking is blocked so GDPR uh, tracking uh, traffic uh, they see a very small message uh, all the tracking scripts and tools are blocked correctly because this is a GDPR visitor so it should be not tracked without consent but the message just is so small and they just ignore it and tracking never works for 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 such visitor uh, it sounds sound sounds sound like a simple problem it's actually one of the most common issues I see on the websites and uh, another very common one recycling all cookie related messages uh, you fail to mention uh, other tracking uh, capabilities like Facebook conversion API and important you fail to offer your users a way to turn off Facebook conversion API because this is also something you should do if you use conversion API you should inform your users and give them the, the possibility to say no don't use conversion API I don't want you to send my personal data to Facebook now uh, a few takeaways very simple use the right consent type according to your visitors location uh, adapt the message and its settings to each consent type and don't forget consent is not just about cookies if you remember these few things you will have a, a, a correct approach 
you will respect the law of various countries and um, you will do things the right way. Uh, this is it. This is the, the, the basic stuff when it comes to constant and tracking. For more information, uh, visit our website constantmagic.com uh, and you will find how Constant Magic works. Constant Magic is just a WordPress plugin, so if you have a, a different type of website, it will not uh, work. But if you have a WordPress plugin, it does a very good job and uh, it helps tremendously with implementing the right consent for your website and for your business.